My guild's GM just ninja'd Hand of Ragnaros mats, disbanded guild, and deleted Discord. Wild drama at its finest. He also made a Reddit post on our Realm subreddit. Link is inside. This is Royson's alt. We are going to also need to... He cancelled uh, it? Wait, what? Did he cancel oh, my jump? going on what wait what <laughs> what <laughs> what's going on discord crash oh wait this is remember doing a discord oh he just disbanded the guild oh my god <laughs> his hard thing yeah, out dude Oh my fucking god, dude. We are going to also need to... He cancelled it? Wow. Did he Wait, cancel it? Oh <laughs> I like how they're just like talking and everything's going fine, you know? And, and, and then this shit happens and it's just a pause and a confusion, you know? I, I fucking love that. What? Okay, Wait, so... What? what the fuck, man? <laughs> what? Wow. Discord okay, how, how does uh, slots in your bags give? I don't know. Um, and he just delete that there. There's the guild deletion right there. To be fair, the guild name is Madeline. I don't even know what the fuck that means, so I I, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, yeah, what would you do in this situation? What would I do? All right, so here's the post that the guy made. Okay, let's do one. This post is to whistleblow in the many ways the leadership are and are planning to exploit its raiders over the next two years of classic. The inner quick actively spread themselves among the three raids to not compete for loot, then prioritize themselves for loot. They stack their primary raid with DPS and douses for fast clear times while the other raids end hours later. They also plan to use guild bank gold for themselves. The raiders put in hundreds of hours into preparing and performing in these raids and deserve loot prio and G-Bank help. We advertise them loot prio based on the attendance of consumables, and that's not what they got. Here's a league checklist of what another lead, Pronkers, has done in only the last month of Classic. Uh, tells the leads that Mageblade, uh, MIC, I think that's a, a belt or something like that, I don't even know. Um, uh, Robe of Volatile Power, go to Paladins over Casters. Uh, he's right about Mageblade, at least. Uh, Pryo, two, my two real-life friends, these items in full Paladin tier one set. Get Rhythm to tell the mages that the Maradon Dagger, Blade of Eternal Darkness, is Biss instead of Mageblade. So he's spreading fake news to get more people to use the right item. The items he wants them to. Uh, get to rank 14 with my two stacked pocket healers. Check. Never respec off of PvP spec. Use two-handers in raids. Check. Spread my PvP click across raids for maximum click loot. Check. Stack my raid with the guild's best DPS. Check. Give my raid full douses while the other two have to summon two to three players between Hydraxian and MC. Check. Brag about my my raid's three hour? Three hour? You're gonna brag about three hours? Oh my god. Who thinks of this shit? This is insane. I, I don't even know what to say. How the fuck can someone be that goddamn stupid? Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. And Anixia, and Anixia. I guess Anixia takes a while to get over there, it's fine. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, Pryo myself, Quick Strike Ring, dropped, got it. And Striker's Mark. Oh, I'm halfway there. Pryo myself, Eye of Sulfurus. Convince leads to give you 10,000 gold worth of G-Bank mats to craft PvP weapon, no loan. Check. To get the hammer earlier, to get two sulfurous ingots loan from analysis, putting the gold in debt for three ingots. Start a guild GoFundMe for my PvP weapon. Give loot prio to the donators. <laughs> <laughs> get Hamish to craft my weapon for me to do a new YouTube video. And so then Hamish crafts the weapon and then he deletes the fucking guild. Or he doesn't delete it. He doesn't craft the weapon. He just deletes the guild. 
You may notice that most of X Madeline members are not private server players. Word of mouth failed with X private server players, so we actively recruited on discords and forums for a month before server launch. I personally recruited 114 members through Discord and through the Oceanic private server I created and migrated. I managed. There were no requirements to join a guild. Doing the big Zerg guild thing with multiple raids seemed like a good idea. We'd use our private server experience to tutor them, and then we'd wait to see who gets burned out. As it turns out, as dedicated players, uh, as it turns out, only two of the Madeline leads have cleared Nax Ramus, Hamish and Pronkers. A couple have not cleared BWL. This is really dumb. Like, th this, th this whole thing is dumb. Like, I, I really think, I mean, the whole thing, the whole just conversation, the whole thing about this is fucking dumb. I don't know what else really even to say about it beyond that. Uh, yeah, this is a dumb fucking threat. Uh, let's see, now with these three leads, uh, inexperienced members, apathetic leads in control over loot priority, the quick balance, uh, how much loot they, uh, they want, uh, Cam died, okay, uh, how much loot they want and they can get away with. Uh, hit me up on Discord if you have any questions. So, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. Primary evidence. Secondary evidence. Jesus Christ. Hand of rag donators for a period of, of raid loot? Oh my god. Say it. Stuff y'all. It's me. It's your boy Aspen Gold. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> why is there a Chi Why is there a- like, Is this a Chinese flag just like randomly put there? Oh my god. Imagine stacking his raid. This is fucking insane. Want to buy more DPS than the raid? You have the same DPS as, as us, though. Okay, three out of eight Dallas's. So, oh my god. Discord messages and everything? What the fuck is this? I objectively value my measurements to Mage Wave on Cassie. I objectively value you. What the fuck is this? I'm not going to read all this. Tr oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is... People are talking about the real vanilla WoW experience. They want to talk about the real vanilla WoW experience. You're looking at it right here. This right here is the vanilla WoW experience. This is it. This is what people wanted. Holy fucking shit. Why didn't he kick the offending parties? See, this is the question that I'm wondering, right? I mean, the guy's the guild master. That's how he's able to disband the guild. Why didn't he kick the offending parties? Whistleblowing only works whenever you literally don't have the power to fix anything. And then somebody says, because he's lying. Yeah, I, I mean, what the fuck is this? Hamish is fed up with the entire guild uh, getting fucked over for a select few. Decided to take the hand of Ragnaros for himself with a match for it, disband the guild and disband the Discord, and whistleblow the entire operation. Did I get that right? I, I mean, like... Do you know what I think is going on here? Do, do, you, know what, do you know what I think is going on here? Yes. I think... That the guildmaster stole it himself. And the guildmaster was in on this whole loot whoring thing from the beginning. And the only reason that he's angry now is because the power structure of the guild giving him loot has shifted in a way that he doesn't like. And because it shifted in a way that he didn't like, he's decided as a final fuck you to the guild that he would say, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to loot myself all the gear anyway, and I'm going to take the hand of Ragnaros, and then I'm going to disband the guild, and then make everybody else look bad in the process. I, I don't know, guys. Like, what do you think? You think that's what it is? It's really where Jenga's most who the guild keeps all these messages? Well, no, I, I think that he probably would just went back in Discord and screenshot all of them after he decided that he was going to do it, right? Because I don't think this was a... I, I don't think that this was a decision that they were going to make ahead of time, right? Uh, or whatever, right? 
Like, I'm sorry, this was a decision he was going to make at a time. Like, this was, this was preemptive. He planned this out. And so in the process of planning it out, he screenshotted all of this stuff so he could post this and just as a final fuck you to the rest of the guild. And that way he could make a new guild and the other people on the server would be looking like assholes. Now, obviously, they can probably just server transfer. It doesn't really matter. But for the most part, this is something that obviously a lot of people like to do. Uh, I, I, this is it. Now, these types of things are what makes Classic WoW a good game. You would never have this in Retail WoW. Never. And you know why? Because people don't care about the game. It doesn't matter to them. These events don't matter at all. The fact is that these types of content and this type of loss that a person feels whenever they play the game and they lose their hand of Ragnaros to some dick boy that they fucking hate and they get physically angry, their face gets red and their head gets hot. This is something that happens in Classic WoW and it's what makes Classic WoW a great and beautiful game. The true emotions... The feelings of loss, of betrayal, of subterfuge. These kinds of things are what makes the game beautiful. Many people will look at this picture and see disgrace. I, I look at this picture and I see glory. Disbanding the guild... Disbanding the guild. Randomly. That's something that's amazing. That's passion. A normal person would not do that. Normal people are boring. That's why MMOs are great. Is they can take normal people that just go to work every single day and they say hi to their boss and they bring their, uh, you know, their office donuts every, you know, second weekend of the, of the month. They can take this genuine good person, Karen, and they can turn Karen into a loot thieving whore. And it's beautiful. That's why the game is great. And you know what? She's not sorry either. It's not like, oh, I had a moment of weakness and I decided to do something I shouldn't have known. She let this happen to herself. And it's fucking amazing. Guess what? Karen was always a whore? Yeah, but everybody didn't know it. Right? Whenever she sends pictures to her guildmaster to get the, the, the first uh, rock dollar for her hunter... Uh, then the guildmaster goes and posts it on 4chan, and then everybody sees it. Uh, then obviously everybody knows about it, right? <clears throat> I mean, that, that's obviously the way that it works, right? You <clears throat> you had these girls like back in the day where they were basically like the guild bicycle. Everybody got a chance to ride, and um, you know this happened like I I was in like two or three guilds like this, and it was like the officers and like the officers play into this shit too. It's not like oh the officers are just like oh they just let it happen, you know whatever. No. They do this as well. I said that so much. Yeah, I thought it was funny. That's why I said it. Uh, literally true. Yeah, I mean, there it is. Guild true. The thing is, like, there are guilds in current WoW that actually have a rule to not allow any girls in the guild. Like, straight up. There are a number of guilds that are like that. I know that might sound insane to you guys, but that's been the case for quite a while.